What's up guys, it's James here from Parts Express and I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at this product right here. It's the Theo M3. It's a lossless music audio file um, player and uh, it's made by Theo, like I said, which is one of the best companies out there. It's an industry leader when it comes to these high-end lossless audio players and really this device is you know no worse uh, this thing is awesome it's really tiny it holds a lot of storage for you it holds a lot of music it plays some of the most high-end lossless media files and uh, it's really easy to use and has a good uh, look so let's uh, let's take a look let's open up the box here alright so opening this up let's go ahead and pull this out here it's a one of these plastic trays and it looks like the instruction book is uh, behind it uh, but they have it front and center uh, here with the uh, headphones on the sides um, kind of a cool like head to headphone ratio there uh, but let's take a look at this this is the USB cable that comes with it so obviously that's how you're gonna drag your files over it looks like it's micro USB um, so that's kinda cool now to see how long this is let's go ahead and unwind the the little twisty tie here and let's break it out it looks to me like it's gonna be about two feet or so it's a good distance it's about all you need uh, for one of these just to plug it into your computer so that's pretty cool you get a USB cable next thing up here we got these headphones um, nothing too crazy here they're just kind of a standard headphone but I actually plugged them in and they actually do sound really nice um, one thing that is kind of cool about these is they aren't just completely throwaway headphones uh, right under the plastic here you'll see there is something uh, a little bit nice here it's got the uh, little jack on here so that you can control the volume and stuff like that kind of reminiscent of the Apple headphones and stuff so if you want to use those uh, that you know that's something else you can get with this package kind of cool uh, let's go ahead and open up this little box here and uh, see what's inside because there's some cool stuff in here number one the first thing you get is this lanyard now if you pull this off uh, it ended up being a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be it's got a little loop here so you can connect to the M3 player uh, but then it's long enough to throw it over your your neck or carry it around so that's kinda cool um, the best thing that I think is in here is these uh, screen protectors um, so they give you two screen protectors to add on to uh, the player you know just in case you get one now if you notice there's already one on there so you're actually getting three screen protectors um, which is really nice because you're gonna be throwing this into your pocket a lot and it's gonna be good to take care of the screen a um, couple little extra papers here about you know setting it up uh, this one right here is just like a quick start guide these are basically just your manuals they're gonna show you some things um, about how to you know get it set up or whatever but there is one thing about this that is rather odd about getting it set up um, and I'll talk about that here in a second and the manual doesn't cover that so this is one of the reasons I'm doing the video is just to give you guys a heads up on uh, what's in the box and how to get it set up so busting this out you can see there there's a hold button on the side and speaking of holding it you know it's got some uh, a good weight to it despite that it's so small let's flip it over here on the bottom um, this is the USB slot the micro USB and then moving over you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack but this is the cool thing it's got an SD card slot um, now it has 8 gigabytes of internal storage but with that SD slot you can add up to 64 gigabyte external um, space so that's pretty cool now this is what I was talking about once you get it started up you start diving into these manuals menus the one thing that you're gonna notice is because uh, because of where it comes from it, it automatically starts in Chinese so that's kind of odd and I dug around a while with this to realize that you can't actually just switch the language uh, quite easily it's a little bit tricky so the the trick that you need to do to get this thing started and get you back into English is you want to plug in the micro USB cable that comes with it and plug it in right here to your computer don't mind my missing power button <laughs> little accident there but wait till this thing gets loaded up and pops up onto your computer you should see it as a drive also this will work too if you're with Windows uh, this device works with Windows and Mac 
So once it pops up, you just want to have a wave file ready uh, to drag on. Uh, I say wave, but really honestly, it plays FLAC, it plays wave, it plays APE, it plays MP3, WMA, OGG, M4A. I mean, this has a lot of files. So you just want to drag one on there to get it started so that you can see it on the main screen. Uh, from this point, you want to hold down that menu button for three seconds, and you'll see a new list of menus that weren't available when you didn't have audio on the file. The bottom one there is a little sprocket, and you want to select that one. Um, now you're still going to get the Chinese menu here, but the trick is, is you want to go up and keep going up until you see the word language pop up right there. So go up to language and then select it using the select button and then keep going up. English doesn't pop up immediately, but it is at the very top. So go ahead and select English and then from this point on, you are all set, you're good to go in English. Now I also want to take a look here just at what you get when you start the whole thing up. Um, we got a couple menus here, this is kind of your main menu. And looking up here at the top, if you select that, you're going to get your favorites in your playlist. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, from then on, you're going to get uh, these musical notes are your songs, your artists, and then your am uh, am uh, albums right underneath there. Um, so then that folder on the very bottom is really just honestly a list of everything that's on the device at one time. So you can kind of get your all files uh, right in one place. So... Move pushing uh, back on the main menu, pushing up and down is going to be your volume, and pushing left or right is going to restart or skip track. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Um, and then that button on the right, which is usually like your enter, is also going to be your play pause. So one thing I want to point out too is that um, I want to point out that this image here of the record is is spinning around and you're seeing some musical notes that is really if the music that you're listening to does not have any album artwork so it will have your album artwork on there and you'll be able to see it but in certain cases uh, where it doesn't have any it just kind of has a standard view and that's what I was working with in order to get it set back up to English I was just using a, a little podcast so um, some really cool things about this device. Number one, like I said, it is super small. That is a two inch LCD screen. So this thing is tiny. It fits in the palm of your hand and it's really cool to throw into your pocket because number one, you got the screen protectors. Number two, uh, it has this l nice little rubber body, um, you know, that, uh, feels really good in your hand. So it slips in and out. Um, now we got some mechanical buttons here on the bottom too, which are really neat. Um, so you can kind of use them uh, without needing to really see the screen. You can kind of get a feel for where you're looking. Um, one more thing I want to point out too about the uh, the audio before we move on is it like I said before, it's playing true lossless media. So the main uh, codecs here you want to use or audio file types, I should say are going to be FLAC, WAVE, and APE, which are all going to be lossless files, and it's going to support that heavily. Um, if you don't have any of that and you just want to use it as a regular player, uh, it, like I said before, it does support MP3, it does support M, uh, WMA, OGG, M4A, stuff like that. Um, so you can use it for just about any of those. A battery is going to last 24 hours on a single charge. Great. It's all day battery life. That's really all you need. Um, if you consider you, you're most likely going to be um, charging it overnight. It also has seven EQ presets uh, if you want to customize your sound. And if you really want to get custom with it, it also does have a custom setting. So you can do whatever you want to change the settings there to make it sound however you feel. Like I said, this is a great little device. Um, I think one of the major components to it is just it's really tiny and it plays amazing sound. Um, and you really can't beat it for the price. This thing is great. Fio has always uh, been an industry leader and this M3 is no disappointment. Um, I think you should check it out. Like I said, the only reason I did this video is just to kind of show you how to get started with it. But I think once you have it, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Just a reminder, you get the headphones, you get the USB cable, you get the screen protectors. This is a great little value. All right, guys. Well, that's about it uh, for me. I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. If you like it, um, 
then go ahead and give us the like on YouTube. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, make sure to follow us, you know, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, stuff like that. You can get a little bit of a different feel from each one of those social media sites. And uh, just want to say once again, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, I'm James from Parts Express. We'll see you later.